All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 23. And in this lesson, parents and teachers, uh, we're continuing with our students having experience with that addition chart and looking for structure. We're letting them look for patterns. And it's those patterns, it's just another opportunity for students to recognize those patterns and then use those patterns to develop fluency with their addition. All right, so here I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I'm going to cover up the a part of the addition chart that I don't want, right? And um, we're going to look over here at the remaining part of the addition chart. And uh, I'm going to get my pen, and I'm going to make it kind of not so dark. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight, and let's get a thicker, there we go, highlight 5 plus 5. Now, what is 5 plus 5? And allow the students to um, give you the answer. One way to approach this uh, is to just walk them through. Well, what's six, 4 plus 6? What's 3 plus 7? And, of course, you can remind students, well, what's an efficient way of getting eight, uh, 2 plus 8? Well, you could use the commutative property, start with 8 and count on. You could also make this a little bit more, uh, you could differentiate up a little bit by making it a little bit more difficult by saying, um, another way to say it is, well, if this is 5 plus 5 and that's equal to 10, do you see any other addition sentences that equal 10? And the kids could say, oh, yeah, 4 plus 6, 3 plus 7, 2 plus 8, and 1 plus 9. So you have a couple of choices. You could either walk them through this discovery or let them find it on their own. That, oh, my gosh, everything is on a diagonal. Now you could do the same concept, only you could say, well, let's take a look at 4 plus 5. Do we see any other addition examples that have the same sum as 4 plus 5. And the students would say, oh, it's 3 plus 6, 2 plus 7, 1 plus 8. And you can just continue this concept just saying, oh, all of these, 3 plus 5, 2 plus 6, 1 plus 7. And then you could say, well, 2 plus 5 and 1 plus 6 match. And then poor 1 plus 5 has no matches it's at all. It's at it's the corner. But it lets students have fun looking for the patterns because this is just really cool for our first graders. Now here the directions say fill in the missing box right here and find the totals for all the expressions. Use your completed addition chart to help you. So here's our completed addition chart. And the idea would be, well, let's look at what we see here. Here's 1 plus 2, here's 1 plus 2, here's 1 plus 3, here's 1 plus 3. And then we could go down, and what we want the students maybe to see is that the part of the chart that we're kind of looking at is right here. And give your students the chance to just recognize that these problems live somewhere in the addition chart at this point. And then let's, we're told to solve. So 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 plus 2 is also 4. And then what is our missing um, box? It's going to be 2 plus 3. And we can see that right here. 2 plus 3, but if your students can do that without looking at the chart, then more power to them. Go ahead and let them differentiate themselves that way. And of course, this is 5, 5, and 6. Another example, more of the same, the idea is where does this live in our addition chart? And we can say, well, here's a 2 plus 4. Where do we see the add-ins of 2? Oh, the add-ins of 2 could be right here, but we want the front add-end to be 2. Oh, that's this row. And we're looking for a 2 plus 4. Oh, here's a 2 plus 4 all the way to 2 plus 6. So we can see that the portion of our addition chart that we're looking at is right here. Not that it matters. We're not asked to identify that in Eureka Math. We're just told we can use the chart to help us. But now we can go ahead and we can fill in the missing boxes. 2 plus 5, 3 plus 4, and 3 plus 6. 
let your students differentiate themselves as to whether they fill in these boxes by looking and peeking at the addition chart or if they are able to use their own logic to correctly fill in those boxes. And then, of course, fill in your answers. And it's kind of cool. We want students to be recognizing patterns whenever they can. And that wraps up first grade, module one, lesson 23, looking for patterns in the additions, addition chart uh, so that they can just develop some fluency with their addition.